FM, frequency modulation. We've all heard of it. We all admire it. We all respect it. But what exactly is it? You're the flipping radio expert, Partridge. You tell us. Well, off the top of my head, in telecommunications and signal processing, frequency modulation, FM, conveys information over a carrier wave by varying its instantaneous frequency. This is in contrast with amplitude modulation, in which the amplitude of the carrier is varied whilst its frequency remains constant. Yep, in analog applications, the difference between the instantaneous and the base frequency of the carrier is directly proportional to the instantaneous value of the input signal amplitude. Digital data can be sent by shifting the carrier's frequency among a set of discrete values, a technique known as frequency shift keying. Whilst it's an oversimplification, a baseband modulated signal may be approximated by a sinusoidal continuous wave signal with a frequency FM. The harmonic distribution of a sine wave carrier modulated by such a sinusoidal signal can be represented with Bessel functions. This provides a basis for a mathematical understanding of frequency modulations in the frequency domain. And in radio systems, frequency modulation with sufficient bandwidth provides an advantage in cancelling naturally occurring noise. So that's pretty much all I know. I'm sure there's more on the subject, but I'd have to look it up. What I think we can all say for certain is that FM was at one time the gold standard for UK radio. If you weren't on FM, you were nothing. Five Live would be a good example. But today, the opposite is true, with the exception of Five Live. Now, FM is considered prehistoric, isn't it? If someone said they were DJing on an FM frequency, you'd think they were on pirate radio, sad FM, or were just an absolute idiot. You'd laugh at them, and you'd be right to laugh at them. No, FM had had its day. It was as tired and lifeless as Adrian Child's eyes.